Hi, this is Samina Sheikh here on Zoom channel, and with me today I have the super fit Georgia Andriani, and hi. join me as I welcome her on Zoom channel. Hi, hi! Thank you so much for having me, Zoom. So first of all, the very first question to you is: Tell me about your hair. Cut. What about my hair? It's looking quite cool. Yeah. Is, is it it's a fringe. summer look? It's yeah. a summer look. Like I, I cut my hair in October. Yeah. I love fringe. My yeah. mom also always uh, has fringe and. Uh, uh yeah i like it yeah. from like from time to time i do it just to change from italy to india how your journey has been while being over here it's been very long and um, yeah it's it's not been directly from italy i've gone through different countries first mm. my dad sent me to munich in germany i was there for one and a half year when i was like what 18 so then from there Uh, I passed through Spain for a couple of months, and then I studied in London. So actually, I came from London. Huh. I was there for like three years, and then yeah, here I am. How difficult or how easy has it become now for you to talk in Hindi? I think Hindi, for some reason, is is a very dear language to me. Hmm. So I've not. It's not that hard. I don't really find it hard. Mm. unless there are a couple of words maybe that those sanskrit yeah. words that are a little harder mm. to uh, i mean it's just about like listening to them like a couple of times and then i'm i mean i don't want to brag but yeah i imbibe them who helped you learning you know this language though i guess that i just i just, just pick, up. pick it up yeah 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 What made you choose your career in Bollywood, Georgia? Like, why Bollywood specifically? See, it never was. Like, I didn't come here planning to be in Bollywood. Mm -hmm. Like, I came here because I wanted to see India. I studied cinema cinematography in London. I was working behind the cameras then. Okay. And uh, I started working on a couple of Bollywood projects behind the cameras in London. And then I just got very curious to visit this country because, like, I don't know, people. There was something about people, you know, like I felt very familiar with them. So I felt it was worth coming to see this country, and so I did. Mm. And I never really made my way back. Like I, I love this place. I love, I love the energy here, especially Bombay, the the, the city. You can just smell the growth in the air, and yeah, I it's just it's just home. And you were also not fixed only to Bollywood. I must say that you also yeah. moved to South, and you you do have yeah, like some yeah, big yeah. performances over yeah. there. Yeah. So yeah. Tell me about that. You know, shifting gears. You know, because both though we say that it's a pan Indian cinema for that matter now, but still both have their own roots. Yeah, they're they're completely different. different yeah, they're different industries for sure. Um, See, I tell you, like, it, I don't have a very. I'm not fixated with what with. I don't want to limit myself in thinking mm. that oh, I want to be here, I want to be there, right? I think that when the project is cool and is in alignment with me and what I know I can give, then I go for it. And uh, this project in South um, came my way, and that's why I did it, and I'm very happy about it. Mm. Which movie has been special to you? You know, the one which you have worked on, or you know, in Bollywood, or say you know, in South, for that matter. Which one has been very close to you? Actually, like honestly, the last uh, uh, that I've joined, uh, it's called Martin, and that has been very special for me because um, I've really given my two hundred percent. I think I, <laughs> I um, when I saw the choreography, I had. Never really uh, done any belly dance before. That that's not what I've prepared. Yeah. What that's not what I'm prepared because when I was a child, I was dancing ballet, and um, I was scared when I when I saw the choreography and the caliber of yeah, of yeah. the whole thing. I I was just a little intimidated. So I remember with Imran uh, Sardaria the the the. Uh, Choreographer, um, mm. like I was just in tears, I think, and the fact that 
he supported me so much. And I was also going through a phase where I wanted to give my 200%, not my 100%. Mm. I wanted to go the extra mile and do my 200%. Mm. So I think that that's the reason why this film is very dear to me. But also talking about Bollywood, what is that one thing which you learned the ropes, you know, while working in this industry and you felt like that is where the growth is? See, as of now, mm. I only see myself um because I, I love music and at the same time like i'm not only in front of the cameras i am running other things yeah business wise and um like i'm doing a lot of things mm -hmm. so my in front of the camera life for that i don't mind for now focusing only on the musical side of it yeah because it takes I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, sound like a lazy bum because it's it's really not the case. Like I'm, I'm doing a lot of other things. So, yeah. but if you do but the music, the music part, yeah. the music yeah. part yeah. takes. Basically, your choice is more staying with the trend because music is, of course, a trend in a way. Yeah, and 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 I love music. I love dance, and at the moment, I'm just focusing on that. Okay. And when it comes to your Instagram reels, you have been entertaining us with a lot of funny videos also. How do you make that? You know, how conscious are you while making those videos? I'm not conscious at all. <laughs> if you but say how does humor crazy. come to you? You know, what's what kind of humor is for Georgia? Is it PJ or is it like you know dark sense of humor? What kind of sense of humor do you carry with yourself? Um, I'm a Gemini, so multiple, so <laughs> multiple personalities, multiple uh, uh, humors, I guess. You know, so it depends upon the day how I wake up. Yeah, that's true. That's I have a different uh, sense of humor, different. Po I mean, personality. I mean, of course, I wouldn't go. Of course, I have a see, Gemini is like yeah, that. We are, we are normal. We, we are like okay. that. No, no, we are not normal. <laughs> you but, should not say that. but uh, yeah, no, I would say different senses of humor i would say and if you had to say some dialogue say in bollywood or say in hindi you know thoda idam social maage ya thoda aise idam style mein which one would that be in hindi do in hindi yeah. like anyone which which has been your favorite and you have heard and you have like you know tried saying a lot i not tried saying a lot no. like but yeah. some some of the dialogues like you know i remember seeing one of your reels with your uh, maid and you know that was very cute some of the dialogue which was of nawazuddin <laughs> siddiqui's you know that one and i think that was very cute शर्म Whatever the decision was, it was your personal decision, the person's decision, but still people spoke about you and your breakup with Inar Bas. Now, for that matter, how did you kept yourself, you know, calm during this phase? Because it's not that easy, you know, going through a phase like that. Letting go of somebody from your life is never easy. It's never something that you go through smoothly. But I guess that see whatever. Um, You should always go what what is in alignment with you, and uh, Arbaz is one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my whole life, and he is still dear to me, and he will always be that. But I guess that you know, it's very very important to uh, be in alignment with uh, who you are and where you want to go. Mm. The person should also. Want to go like at least similar places, yeah, and um, yeah, be on the same wavelength, you know. But of course, letting go of somebody's uh, is never easy. Yeah. Okay, and coming to this, we are going to play a fun segment with you, and let me ask oh. you some fun questions, and let's see where your sense of humor is aligned today. Okay. okay? So the very first question is: If you could switch lives with any Bollywood figure for a day, who would it be, and what would you do? Oh my God, that's a that's a very interesting question. I would say, yeah, maybe I would switch it switch it with uh, maybe Shahrukh. Okay, just to see 
what it feels to be where he is. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Uh, the second question to you is, what is the most surprising thing you have learned about yourself while working on your latest project? That I can do anything I want to do. If you could time travel to any era for a day, which period would you choose and why? I guess, where would I travel to? Yeah, the Romans. Yeah. The Romans or the Greeks. Okay. Yeah, you know, like, and any specific uh, figure you would like uh, to be? I would love to study Stoicism with with all these uh, these guys, Seneca and all these uh, these philosophers. Mm -hmm. I would I would love to be there and, and and study this philosophy with them along with them. Awesome. What is the best piece of advice you have ever received from any other celebrity? I got an advice, but I never followed it. Yeah. But what was it? <laughs> to remove my fringe? Oh, really? But you're not naming that person. I'm not <laughs> naming the person, but uh, yeah, they told me do to do that. But you asked me a different question. You know what? A lot of people have advised me a lot of different things, but especially when it comes from a celebrity, I don't take it because they talk according to their experience. And if we had the same experience, I would be them, right? Correct. So that's why I don't accept any any, any advice. Okay. If you had to create a signature cocktail that represents your personality, what would it be and what would it be called? Uh, I guess it would, it would be like a, a Negroni Picante because I'm Picante and because Negroni is Italian and it gets you high. Okay, and last few questions to you. If you were to write an autobiography about your life, what would the title be? Adventures in Georgia. Okay. What is the most ridiculous rumor you have heard about another celebrity that turned out to be completely false or anything about you? So some, uh, there was some rumors um, of me hanging out with like a boy in Bollywood. It's, it's not true. I don't know if you've heard of it as well. No, not yet. Okay, cool. Good. Okay. 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 If you could have any fictional character as your personal assistant, who would it be and why? I would like to have mini me. Yeah. As a as a personal character. Personal. Like you said yeah, as yeah, an assistant. assistant yeah. yeah, of course. Because she would exactly know what I want and how I want it. Okay. And last two questions. What is the most unexpected skill or hobby you have picked up during the pandemic? Or during, during these the years also? Yeah, during these years. Oh, Okay, I do something very weird every day. Like I, I write down the words uh, that I don't know the meaning of, and every day I I, I learn at least three new words. Okay. And uh, pickleball, I guess that's quite weird, isn't it? Yeah. Pickleball. Who plays pickleball? But pickleball is quite fun, yeah, though. Yeah. It's it's yeah. becoming so. Trendy. It's becoming quite trendy. Yeah, yeah. it's becoming quite trendy. The last one, if you were to host a dinner party and if you could invite any three eminent figures, who would that be and why? I would invite Oprah. Okay. I would invite even people who are dead. Yes. I think I would invite definitely for on the top of my list, there would be Dhirubhai Anbani. Awesome. And uh, because I... I, I, I um, learned about his his story and it was so inspiring um then who else who else really uh yeah oprah still would be there and yeah uh maybe donald trump donald trump he's funny he's funny yeah he's yeah he's good yeah he's, he's funny. good in his own yeah, way yeah, yeah. But lovely chatting with you. And before I let you go, Georgia, I have to ask you what are your upcoming projects you're working on? Uh, so, as I told you, it's in a music space in films. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, behind the camera, I don't know how, yeah. maybe people are just not interested in my life outside the cameras because I'm, I'm really focusing a lot on that side at the okay. moment. Okay. Um, but yeah, coming up with something really cool yeah. that you get to know soon, hopefully. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. My for pleasure. Time. My pleasure. Very best. Hi, this is George Andriani and you're watching me exclusively on Zoom.